When you have a pesticide, at first glance, how do you know how dangerous or toxic that product is? Well, that's what we want to take a look at. EPA requires that manufacturers put signal words on the label. A signal word is going to be our first clue to how dangerous the product could be. Also, EPA requires that every pesticide label must have keep out of reach of children. All pesticides are a poison to a certain extent, and certainly children are the most vulnerable to any kind of poison. The signal word in the product label is going to tell us the product's relative toxicity to not only humans but also to animals. Here we see the signal word caution. But what I'd like to do is go down through the four groupings of signal words that are used on pesticide labels. We're going to start at the top, the most toxic of all the products. You're going to see the words danger poison on this type of label. They're highly toxic on the basis of either oral, dermal, or inhalation toxicity. And it means that even in very low doses, they can cause death or serious harm. Also, all the single words will have in Spanish a particular word what they mean. In this case, danger is in Spanish on that product. The other thing is danger poison always has the skull and crossbones. So another visual uh, hint visual clue of how dangerous this product is. We move down to danger. This one's highly toxic in at least one route of entry, but the big thing here is it has the potential to cause permanent or severe eye damage. It can also cause severe damage to the skin and lungs. So this one, the toxicity issue is not necessarily acute toxicity, but the damage it can do to eye and, and skin. Warning is a moderate toxicity through oral, dermal, or inhalation exposure. It can also cause moderate irritation in eyes or on skin. And again, we see warning in Spanish on the label. Caution is a slightly toxic through oral, dermal, or inhalation exposure. And it can, could cause slight irritation in the eyes or on the skin. This is the lowest of the toxicity, and more and more of our products are finding themselves in this caution category, which is good news. We've been able to come out with products that have a lower toxicity. Now, in some cases, there's even a lower toxicity range that the EPA does not require to have any signal word on the label, but most of the manufacturers will, will at least stick the caution signal word on the product. So there you have it, the four groups of signal words that we use on pesticide labels. Make sure you understand what they mean to you, and it's your first clue of what the dangers could be. Of course, after you look at that signal word, make sure you're reading the label and following any restrictions or precautions on how to use that product. Hopefully this is with some help and a good reminder to be reading those labels and following the directions. If you have any questions, please contact us at the Pesticide Education Program, Penn State University. Thank you.